Welcome back. Uh, my name's Dave. And before we uh, tackle the next film developing adventure uh, using a lab box, I thought I'd describe to you uh, what a lab box is in case you've never seen one. Um, a lab box basically means that you can develop your films in daylight, like I have here in my shed. Um, without need of a bag, you know, all that sort of thing. So you can just do it normally, which I'm going to show you. So the main part, the main box comes in two parts. There's a, a switch underneath here. Press it and it comes apart. So you have the developing tank where the reel goes in. And the reel holder is where the films dispense from. So they clip together. Then you have the guide, which um, guides the film onto the reel. You have the reel. It's a 35mm uh, fixed reel. You also do a 120 back and 120 reel, which I've got. Basically the same, although putting the, the film of 120 into the, the bin here, it, it's, the dispensing bin is a little bit different and when I get a 120 pull I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so that goes into the tank one way, it's like a star shape on that side. It goes in there, you have the turning knob, that goes in one way as well, like that. You guide, guide in. So that moves up and down with the film as this film is pulled in. On the reel, there's the grip. You, you connect to the film, which you'll see when I do it in a minute. Okay, and then the lid, which makes it light tight. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> it really is that simple, not too hard. Um, <clears throat> get one of whatever store you shop from if you want to. So, <clears throat> let's crack on. I have here a, um, a reel of HP5 that I shot yesterday down in uh, Corf Castle. I'm sure it was, yeah, Corf Castle in Swanage. Uh, me, and good, me and the good lady went down there. Um, and trust us to pick the, the one day in January, 8th of January, a Sunday, 2022, at which it chucked it down. <laughs> So we were wet through, soaked through, because uh, we also went to uh, other places, um, which I'll show you on other films later. But um, <clears throat> I decided to shoot this at 200 ISO to 400. I'm going to develop at 400 speed, which is five minutes, using um, Kodak HC110 B dilution. Um, and that's it. So let's um, crack on. So we have the film. Yep, so actually I don't know if you can see that in there. Maybe if I get out of the light. Corp Castle, maybe. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, but hey, proves not a lot, but anyway. So you, you feed the uh, tongue underneath these two bars to guide the film in. Get your scissors. And chop the tongue off. Now I sound like I've had my tongue chopped off, but I haven't. My, my uh, New Year's gift to myself and to my dentist was my bridge fell out. <laughs> That's why you're not seeing me on camera. I look ugly enough as it is. <laughs> um, when that's fixed and I come back with my pure white smile, mm. uh, then you'll see me. God help you. So yeah, so there, there's my gift. Three grand. Oh well, never mind. Off we go. Should make a donations page. <laughs> okay, so you clip that on to the uh, film. Okay, then right through the guide gently by turning it, and just as it gives resistance, stop. Don't want to go any further. So basically, you can see that. Okay, 
Put the lid on. Now we're light tight. Now we turn the knob, it's turning off slowly but surely. There it goes. Onto the reel. Keep going until it stops with resistance. I mean, it comes to the end of the film roll. There we are. It's a 24 shot one, so it's quite quick. There we are. Nice and free. Now, I've just realised I've started this video without knocking up some of my uh, HC10. So, I'm just going to stop the video, quickly do that, and then come back. So now we're ready for uh, the developer. Again, it's the uh, Kodak HC110, which I'm using. Put it here. Um, still got loads left, so long time before I change if I'm going to. Uh, five minutes on the stopwatch. There, get that going. Should do this before. Okay, that's ready. So, I'm going to pour in and turn. I, I tend to turn it as I'm pouring. Okay, I think you can see it. I hope you can see all that. I've got my hand in the way. Uh, basically, just pouring it in slowly but surely to about 450 mil or so. In there, should have measured it. Okay, that's it. Ah, my phone's gone off. Should get one of them stopwatch type things. Those big clocks that you see that others have got. Lesson learned, off to eBay later. Anywho, so I'll give this a good turn for. 30 seconds since I've been doing it for 30 seconds whilst loading it. So give it a minute if my mass is correct. And we're at the minute coming up now. And there we go. So that's the agitations for the first minute. I'll do all the rest, but I won't bore you with that and come back sort of a minute from the off where we'll stop and fix. Second to last agitation. For this to get about 15 seconds before the full time, uh, and then I'm going to empty the developer and as quickly as I can put in the stop. Uh, shouldn't need too long with the stop, so 30 seconds or so, uh, just to make sure that it's developer time stopped, and then pour in the uh, fixer which I'm using the ADOX Rapid, and that's four minutes. And then fingers crossed, all going well. We'll have um, some pictures of Cork Castle to share. Maybe one or two to print as well, which I'll uh, show you uh, for a guided tour of my studio one day. When my teeth are done. Okay, so, now we keep coming up to the time. Put another couple of little twiddles. Okay, so I'll pause that. Pour my now spent developer. It's a, a one-shot solution. So I'll set that on, get that out of the way. Now the stop, which I've got here. This is Ilford stop. Um, it's yellow at the moment. When it goes sort of a purpley colour, so there's a little something in there. Let me get that out anyway. Um, when it goes a purpley colour, I know it's spent. That doesn't take too, this doesn't take too long, so just give it. No. Twists and turns to make sure, a bit like when you're doing your photo development, your paper development, 
I'll take, doesn't need too long. I think that's enough. So pour that back. Whatever that bit is, I'll get that out later. Now I've got the uh, fixer. I can turn off the heater now, so I'm stretching across. Turn that off so we. That humming is my fridge for the film. <laughs> okay, so we've got the fix. So that's that. <clears throat> so this is four minutes. I really do need to buy one of those mechanical stop clocks. Jeez. Sorry about that. Okay, so as before, pour it in. You can't see me do that, I don't think, but I'm sure you know how to pour in some liquid into a gap in a box, in front of a box. So it's going in, I'm turning as I do. And as before, start the slot watch, which has gone up again. No, here we go. Ah, come back. What are you doing? There. When it gets to um, 30 seconds, Okay, so um, can also agitate 30 seconds while pouring roughly and now I'm doing a full agitation and it's coming up to the time which is now so what I'll do is I'll do that for the next three and a half minutes and just before I finish I'll come back sorry about the background noise it's the heater now kicked in Okay, I'm going to pour it back into the bottle to reuse later on. And then from there we'll go wash it in the, in the kitchen, come back, give it a spin and see if we produce something. So here we go, get close to the end, here we go, bing bing bing. Okay, so pour it back into its bottle. Have you ever seen these um, AP accord like accordion bottles? I think I call them. Let's see what I'll show you. So basically, to get the air out of the bit where there's no fluid, you just squeeze it. That's quite full. They didn't need a lot, but you could go further down if you only had half a litre or so. That so takes there. Yeah, it shrinks it down a bit. Keeps the air up. Keeps your chemicals fresh. Anyway, let's muffle in. And watch this, uh, last rinse will be in diagnosed water. It's already had one drop, one tiny drop of um, rinse aid from uh, Ilford as well. Uh, come back, give it a spin, and then show you the results. Right, so we're back from uh, washing. And uh, it's going to now slowly pull that out. Here's the real it's a little bit wet and I'm going to be spinning it in a salad spinner that your wife might have but buy your own save the divorce <laughs> so I'm just going to change the camera angle so I can show you this whirling derbyshire back in a sec okay so hopefully you've got one of these they're very cheap again on eBay you can grab one of these quite cheap pop the reel in Close it, send it for a spin. That should be enough. And 
is our dryer reel of film. I'll show you in a second how much water comes out of there. But I'll get this uh, hanged up with the other two that I've done earlier today. And uh, hopefully we'll see some images. So I'm just going to show you uh, how much water you can get off your film. Because uh, I don't, I don't uh, scrape my film anymore uh, with a squeegee or with my fingers or anything. So I was getting scratches and things. So now, basically, show you the lid up. Show you roughly how much water comes out. There you go. So you've got a good bit of water there that's come off the film uh, that won't be on the film drying. You know, so it makes drying the film a bit quicker, but that's not the point really, it's just to save the need of using your fingers to do it or squeegee, which I do have, but I don't use anymore. Um, so, let's go have a look and see the images. Images, the whiteboard's there just hopefully, so it helps. So these are, um, these two at the back here. It's a little experiment I'll be doing. I had a couple of um, uh, T Max 3200 um, that I wanted to use and try out, uh, but I set them to um, now my mouse is rubbish, so one third of a stop over 800, so it's about 1050, something like that. I'll do the, the proper mouse later, and they were developed nine and a half minutes in the same B dilution of uh, uh, HC110 and they seem to have come out so they seem okay but we'll, we'll double check that with contact sheets when I print them in a couple of days probably and here's the HP that we've just done of Corp Castle oh very nice remember it shot at 200 developed at four for five minutes All good. All good. But we won't sell until we've uh, had a really good look and see uh, the results on the contact sheets and maybe some prints as well, which I'll do some videos showing me doing that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, it does help. And uh, like if you do like it. If you didn't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> and see you again. A lot sooner than I have been posting. Thank you very much.